Today we got two quick but important things to talk about in the world of supermarkets and food shopping. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another supermarket chat, supermarket news, supermarket discussion, New Jersey supermarket news. I think I'm going to have to expand this blog to go <clears throat> national <clears throat> one of these days because uh, I don't think New Jersey supermarket shoppers care. They just, they're set in their ways. There aren't many people. I guess uh, enough people uh, nationally will, can come together and shop smarter, but uh, maybe not New Jersey. I don't know. But today we're going to talk about the fake meat phenomenon again. <clears throat> I can't help it. Every single month that goes by, I see more and more and more fake meat. There's, uh, you know, the Beyond Burgers, which are really taking off uh, financially. I don't know if their their actual uh, books show that they're making money, but they're certainly taking in a lot of money. And uh, I guess that's more important than whether uh, they're selling a good product. And then you have the Impossible Burger. The Impossible Burger now has their own little stand. This massive pile of fake meat at uh, Wegmans we saw. Oh, it tastes like ground beef. But it's not ground beef. It's vegetable crap and processed ingredients and fake uh, addictive um, um, ingredients put in MSG is the is the primary culprit in my opinion because I'll tell you again when I first ate those Beyond Burgers after uh, when they first came out I I couldn't find them because they were selling uh, off the shelves like uh, hotcakes and then when I finally found them and tasted them I ate them and I ate them so fast I didn't like them taste wise but I ate them like um, my life depended on it. And I knew from that moment on I will never eat them again because that's not how I eat anything. I can take a, like a $200 filet mignon and eat it slowly and, and carefully and enjoy every bite. I did not do that with these fake meat burgers. I ate them like, like I went out of my mind. And I think that's why they've, um, they've garnered this, uh, this uh, fake... Uh, like it's just like their meat it's fake people like them but they don't understand why they're like they're like chemically drugged literally anyway so you have like uh, the impossible burgers at Wegmans now and then you have this other company who came up with a name that makes everybody feel good oh the meatless farm hey you know any tomato or corn or or um, pumpkin farm I go to is meatless but then all of a sudden it's a big deal to be a meatless farm Holy crap, most farms are meatless. Like, yeah, uh, animal farms and pig farms and cow farms aren't meatless, but most uh, vegetable farms are meatless. I, I don't get it. Like, they make it sound, they put the word meatless and farm in the, in the same word, in the same ca like sentence or t title or name, and then all of a sudden, oh, meatless, oh, it's so great. No, meatless is not great. You will figure that out eventually. I'm not here to, 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 well, I am here to tell you that you're wrong, but um, you'll figure it out on your own. You don't need me to tell you. You'll figure it out. Anyway, the, another thing I want to talk about, and this interests me um, tremendously. I saw something at ShopRite the other day called uh, Fat Snacks, and, and we're not uh, uh, offended by fat. You know, fat is good. Fat is actually uh, helps you become less fat physically. Uh, but they had these cookies, and I was almost ready to buy them. They had peanut butter and chocolate chip and, and all these other cookies that were low carb. I think they were two grams net carbs per cookie or per package. And then I looked at the, the package. It was 1.4 ounces of cookies for $2.60. And that equates to $30 a pound for one point. You know, $30 a pound for 16 ounces of these uh, low carb cookies. And I, I said to myself, wow, for 30 bucks, I can get 15 pounds of red meat. And that could feed me probably um, for, for at least two weeks. And 
these cookies uh, would not feed me for two weeks and they're nutritionally probably void of anything valuable except the sweet sensation, the tactile feedback of crunch and swallow in your mouth and, and again, we've said this in the past that I think the sweet sensation is something that you probably will eventually figure out is not something you want to have because it messes with your brain it messes with your your whole chemistry of, of it, it, it it's I, I am trying to figure out the right word here it, it's it's confusing for most people it's confusing for your body too because sweet it's like a drug okay um, I ate some uh, delicious 73 percent uh, fat uh, protein 27 percent fat ground beef today and it was that was delicious and I, I haven't been hungry and it just satisfied me I stopped eating when I was full and that was the end of it there's no there was no like like euphoric feeling that the, the sweets give you even when they're fake sweets or erythritol um, we've been making mistakes uh, frequently with the erythritol because we're trying to figure out what it is and I, I and that's my excuse for buying either the enlightened keto uh, a dish collection ice cream or the rebel ice cream uh, sweets 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 aren't good but anyway it's uh, thirty dollars a pound for these keto cookies and, uh, and there's no way that you know three dollars for two cookies is is uh, something anybody should do just uh, eat all blueberry and suck on it or something and it's a lot cheaper than the three dollar cookies but I wouldn't even eat blueberries so that's it that's the supermarket news for November um, it's getting harder and harder to find things out there that are interesting uh, I'll probably keep talking about the fake meat for quite a while because I'm fascinated to watch how it's been expanding and getting bigger and bigger and bigger and and no one seems to be paying attention because they have uh, their I guess momentum going both financially from investors and their fake uh, promises that uh, I don't know it, it's really crazy but anyway keep an eye out shop around buy things uh, that you might not normally buy and look down every aisle every now and then I know everybody's busy but just uh, pay attention and observe what's going on around you and have a good day please uh, like the channel, subscribe, and so on. Hit the bell. Have a good rest of your day or night.